Clear prop. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilots' YouTube channel, directly supporting the Grumman Pilots Association. And this morning, we're going to do a, a little quick demo here on taking the corrosion off of your brake disc. Uh, we had a, one of our members in Hawaii, uh, in a saltwater environment, so they get a lot of corrosion on their brake disc from not flying. The best thing you can do is fly your airplane and let the brake pads clean it all off. But if you've got corrosion, you don't want to gum up your thing, take a roll lock, and this is on a angle grinder and a Rolock is nothing more than really a peach of scotch bright and it spins at 22,000 rpm and let's just see what it does to uh, the debris that's on here. And now you can see where I have not cleaned it and where I have. Now, this is a pitted disc. I wasn't going to pull one off an airplane. But you can see right here that it really does knock a lot of that off. And it's nice and smooth. This is all rough. And this is all nice and smooth again. So if you've got corrosion, uh, get yourself a die grinder uh, available at Harbor Freight. These are like $19.95. Get you some roll lock pads. They come in a variety of uh, uh, grits and thicknesses. I use the brown, the green, and the reds here. And that will do it. Another alternative, if yours are really bad and like on this one are really pitted, Rapco is now making uh, a PMA Cleveland brake pad. These are the uh, RA 164-02000s, and they're a brand new brake pad. Nothing much more shiny than that. Uh, these are under a hundred bucks. Uh, so again, if you're in that bad of shape, just go ahead and get it. Matter of fact, uh, the Eligibility uh, is for the entire line from the AA1s all the way up through the Alpha Alpha 5s. So we hope you found this informative. I'd like to thank you for watching Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel and have a good day flying your Grumman.